Hello everyone, this is Arun and welcome to my channel. Right now I'm living in Jeju Island, South Korea. In this video, I'll talk about street performances in South Korea. Korea is really famous for its K-pop culture and K-dramas. Sometimes when you are walking around the busy streets, you might find some street performers, a bunch of college kids, a bunch of high school students who would be performing on K-pop music or even international music or they would be singing like either K-pop music or international music mainly the English music and you can find them and you can enjoy them. I recorded some of these street performances a while ago mainly before Covid when things were open but after Covid happened things really changed and it was really hard for people to come out or to gather so these street performance culture was almost gone but now as Korea has lifted its most of the COVID restrictions, things are coming back to normal. Street performances are also coming back to normal. In this video, I'll show you some recorded videos that I recorded before COVID, but I have seen on social media that these things are happening again in South Korea. Hongdae area in Seoul that is really famous for these street performances. And the videos I'm going to show you in this video, I also recorded them in Hongdae area. This is how street entertainment exists in South Korea. So here are the videos. I have reduced the volume to save this video from YouTube copyright. I would really appreciate if you can subscribe this channel and push that like button. Push that like button. As you know, K-pop music is pretty famous all around the world. You could find so many street performances in which youngsters show their talent on K-pop music. Through the 
highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And on and on I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Now I want to give you an update about South Korean international travel that South Korea has lifted the quarantine restriction since last month and South Korea has also lifted the outdoor mask mandate since last three weeks. Now people can walk outside without masks. The international tourists who would be coming to South Korea, they won't need to quarantine as long as they are fully vaccinated. From next week, if you come to Korea, you won't need a PCR test. You will only need a rapid antigen test before 24 hours of your travel and that will be acceptable in South Korea. I hope things come back to normal as they were before COVID and we learn to live with this COVID pandemic as soon as possible.